Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. This is going to be an exciting episode today. You're not going to want to jump ahead. Why? Because I'm going to be testing the Ryzen 5600G with the Vega 7 graphics and we're going to find out whether or not you can play Starfield on it. Yep, we're going to dive into this and see if it can be done. We're going to try to do some modest overclock overclocks uh, integrated graphics to try to squeeze a little bit more out of it to see if we can play Starfield at 1080p. Is it possible? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today, here and now on Remember This Tech. To squeeze out all the performance, we're gonna be using 32 gig of DDR4 3200 megahertz. And we're gonna use this brand new Asus B550 Prime motherboard. We're gonna be using a crucial P3 one terabyte NVMe drive. Got this Corsair semi-modular 750 watt 80 plus bronze power supply to power our build. I'm going to try out this cheap thermal take cooler. It costs like $17. Now, if you're interested in any of these parts, I'll put all of the parts in the description section below in case you want to check them out. Let's answer the question whether or not you need a dedicated graphics card to play Starfield, or can you get by with one of these chips in the meantime? This is the first here on Remember This Tech. Let's get into this. I'm excited and I want to find out just what these chips can do. Come on, let's go. All right, so we got Starfield up on the 5600G and no um, dedicated graphics, just the onboard Vega. So let's look at the display settings here. And this obviously needs to be fixed because we can't play on this. Well, we could probably, but. So we're gonna go to 1920 by 1080 and we're gonna go on borderless full screen. And we're going to continue. Load my save. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can lock in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the foe once shields are offline. Expect that. Your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and Captain is on the surface. I have to go and kill this guy now? Wow. Alright, let me save because odds are something bad's gonna happen to me. And I'm going to die and have to start all over again. I'll be kind of pissed. But let's see if we can check the uh, settings here and see what we're actually running at. Because the display, we're not. Oh, look, see, that's why. We're running at this massive resolution <laughs> on this chip. I can't believe that. That's pretty crazy. Let's knock it down to an acceptable. Uh, 1920 by 1080, but we're gonna have to go down to the um, window. So let's do this windowed, okay? 
and I'm gonna have to zoom in to the screen to give you a little bit better uh, set a better view not so you won't see my stupid zoomed in screen all right so and now we have it a little bit here I gotta stop this all right let's go back in and play now let's restart the counter here see look at that it looks like we're capped at 30 fps now but the fact that the fact that uh we've got 30 fps means it's 100 percent playable right but it makes it hard to play on this stupid mini screen you know complete the mission mission i'm playing on a 42 inch 4k tv so So we're getting out here. Hopefully I have my helmet on. Yep. All right, so we're playing at, uh, let me reset the counter here. 1080p. Where are the mission parameters here? I'm not sure where I'm going. Did I just take off and land again? No, I auto, auto went to this lab just by doing that. We need to get some better visuals here. Let's see if we can't uh, get some visuals. Well, we're at 1080p. Let's set it to medium and see if it can handle that. All right. Let's save again because odds are we're gonna die. All right, we've dropped down to 20 FPS. It looks like we're at 2300 megahertz for the GPU. I've overclocked it from the standard 1900 and we're at 99% utilization, but we're running a cool 42C, which is cool. Um, and we're using three, we're using 3.6 gigabytes of memory and it's topped out at four because I was able to expand it to four. So it just looks better though with the medium quality settings. I wouldn't say it's great playable wise, but I my gun out. I don't have many, uh, I don't have much ammo. Wow, there's a little gravity here. Look, I'm jumping up in the air. Oh shoot, who's this dude? zero like ammo like I shouldn't have been farting around here true some people might say hey you can't play this game effectively with you know just a 5600 G blah 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 well I'm peaking at 28 FPS and 23 you know with the 12 low and 20 you know, mid-range, so I would say you probably can play it at 1080p. It doesn't look horrible. So we're going in here. I need more ammo. I got like 19 bullets. I got a laser drill, I think, but. There's all this crap here. Oh, 
my stupid robots here. I don't even think he ever helped me at all. It shows you the value of things, huh? Oh, what the hell is this? What happened? to see in the dark here. Alright, that's worth 320 credits for some reason. So, I'm taking it. And that's 360 credits. I'm pretty sure I'm going to encounter uh, a limit to my carrying capacity like really soon. Not only am I proving that you can play Starfield on your integrated 5600G Vega graphics, but um, but you can do this without breaking the bank because you can play it and then upgrade later, and it looks okay. But keep your expectations low. As long as you do that, you should be okay. Um, but people are always like up in arms about you can't play this, you know, this game. It brings everything to its knees. Well, I overclocked the GPU slightly, and it can probably squeeze out better frame rates if I overclock it more. But Getting a stable overclocked is a different story on your system, so you your vi your mileage may vary depending on how you can overclock. Um, that's what I'm saying. If you're willing to take the chance, possibly void your warranty or whatever, and overclock a bit, then I'm not going to advocate you do it or not. That's up to you, personally. I'm playing Starfield on. Nothing but a dedicated GPU for the iGPU for the Ryzen 5600G. It's pretty amazing that I can do this. So I killed those guys. So far so good, right? And I imagine this game is going to be like the same thing as any other game of this genre, of this type. If you're on a mission, blah blah blah. Save frequently, right? Because death can happen at any corner, any turn. Check this out. It's like your companion, the robot. So if you get overburdened with your gear, you can trade crap with him. Put it in here like, like what do you got here? Like you got all this junk here, right? I got spacesuits and whatever and my my mass is getting heavier, so when we go through here, what do we have? Miscellaneous. I got like this is this is heavy. This is heavier. We don't really need that. Um, make him carry all this stuff. It's like your little pack horse from like Fallout, you know. I don't want to fill up all my weight and not be able to move. So the fact that you can use this guy as a pack horse is a tip that I suggest that.
So you see behind me? That's it. That's the the setup. The Asus Prime B550 motherboard, 32 gig of RAM, slightly overclocked iGPU on the 5600G Ryzen, six core CPU, 12 thread, playing the game decently at 1080p. If this is what you've got, feel free to play the Starfield game and have no problems with that at medium settings. You know, you're getting 20 to 31 uh, FPS and that's fairly playable in my mind, especially if you're willing to compromise on the visual, the eye candy of the game. So can you play Starfield on just your integrated graphics, uh, Vega graphics on your 5600G? And you can, because I did it. Thanks for coming along with me in this journey and seeing if we can play Starfield on just the integrated graphics of 5600G. And thanks for watching, remember this tech. And that's the end of the video. Bye.